Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Aryan and today we're doing a studio tour. Now this room here is where I spend most of my day and it's gone through various different looks over the past three, four years. I used to have two different desks in here at one point in like an L configuration. Then I switched that to having them across the room from each other. And finally, I just got rid of it completely. I used to just change this room around every two to three weeks, it felt like. But now this is a look that I've settled with and I haven't really touched it in like the last six months or so. So I would love to share that with you guys and with that let's get right into it so this is what I see when I'm recording my YouTube videos and of course the camera is missing because I'm filming with it right now and honestly for my microphone I just put it just on the table here pointing up at me I've, I just got really tired of setting up a light stand with a boom arm and booming it over and I tried it for a video but I just putting it on the table and it worked fine so that's what I do now it saves me so much space and less clutter so I just put my mic on the table pointing at me I have a seven inch monitor there to monitor everything of course I don't really touch this one this is a really cheap one I found off of uh, Facebook marketplace I think it's the uh, Desview R7P or the R7 Mark II one of those I basically leave it here I found it for like 120 bucks and it's a great little monitor and I just leave it right there and this is the remote for the Aperture 120D Mark II great little light I've had this for almost two two and a half years it's got the light dome mark two on it as well honestly no complaints this lights great and it works off of this remote which I find really handy and I always keep that there so this is basically my little nook for recording videos and the fun part starts when we pan around here so this is the backdrop you guys see most of the time in my videos over here this part actually doesn't you know uh, show up in the frame but this is basically all of my gear that I have to store. And instead of just, you know, putting it in that closet over there, that closet's already pretty full, so I don't want to jam more stuff into it. I just leave it out here. It doesn't show up in the frame at all. And, you know, it's a great little spot for it. This is the Nanook 950 case. This is what I take to all the weddings I shoot. This Aperture 60 I got on Black Friday. And honestly, I haven't tested it out too much just yet. But so far, I've been loving it. This big guy here, this is the newer uh, photography case. Uh, I'll link it down below, but this case carries all of my light stands, tripods and gimbals and all of that stuff for my weddings. So all in one big carry on. It's got wheels on it and everything. So I've been really liking this. Then we move over to the fun stuff. Now this, if you guys remember from my last studio tour, this was quite empty and now it's got a lot of stuff on it. <laughs> I've expanded my kit quite a bit for my wedding video business and I kind of just leave everything here on display for YouTube and I honestly just like looking at it. And a lot of you guys ask me how my shelves glow. It's because of these little lights here. These are the Aperture MCs. They've got magnets on them and I just kind of leave them there. And in the frame, it kind of just, I frame my shots up kind of like this. So it just looks like the shelves are glowing. And yeah, I kind of like that look. So let's start breaking everything down from the top shelf. This one is the most cluttered shelf out of everything. Uh, this corner, honestly, I don't bother with, but it's got a bunch of crap here, like extra top handles, extra plates, some little mini tripods, extra Rubik's cube, a little uh, silicone cap for this light, stuff like that, boring stuff. Then we've got a gorilla pod. I never use that thing. It's just, I, I tried to sell it. Honestly, nobody wants to buy it. So <laughs> it's just there. This guy is the very first camera I ever owned. I have it still and it sits on the shelf. I don't think it turns on anymore, but it's just there. Next up, we've got this uh, SD card case. Uh, keep all my extra SD cards in there and I just chuck it up top there. We have Deadpool, Thor, and I have my Zoom H4N Pros back there in their cases. DR10Ls over here. And that is my first ever tripod back there. Still have that thing as well and it just stays on that shelf for display. Next up, we've got the DJI RS2. Honestly, one of my favorite gimbals, I know the RS3 Pro, whatever is out now too, it's got the uh, automatic locks and everything. I am still rocking the RS2, no complaints at all. This thing is fantastic. Next up to the fun shelf here. I'm gonna move the light really quickly, a little less distracting. So starting over here, we've got a little fake plant from Ikea, a clapper board because filmmakers have to have a clapper board. And I have a Shinobi 7. 
I got this thing about six, seven months ago and I've been loving it a lot. I just really don't like five inch monitors anymore. So I've been trying to upgrade to seven inch monitors. Uh, honestly, that one was my first one that you saw over there, but uh, the Shinobi 7 is a nice little upgrade. I do have the Shinobi 5 as well. Oh, we'll get to that a little bit later, but Shinobi 7, really great monitor. I really like it. Next up, A7 IV. I have three of these guys. One is over here, one you're looking at right now, and the last one over there. But uh, my favorite camera to date. I really, really love this thing. And yeah, that's what I shoot pretty much everything on. Next up, my least favorite lens. 50 millimeter Sony 1.8, really crappy lens. I just have it because I haven't bought the Sony 1.4 G Master yet. So until I do that, I'm gonna have to make do with this little guy. <laughs> Next up, we've got the Sony 85 millimeter 1.8. This is honestly one of my favorite lenses. This was the very, very first lens I bought with my a7 III uh, after the kit lens. I still have it to this day absolute workhorse i really highly recommend this lens if you haven't checked it out yet definitely go look at the 85 millimeter 1.8 next up we've got the sony kit lens this actually uh, i didn't get with the camera i bought it for 100 dollars off of facebook marketplace absolutely brand new lens and i think i used it like once after because this is my like absolute last resort backup of the backup of the backup lens I just have it because some guy was selling it for a hundred bucks on Facebook Marketplace. Not a bad deal at all. I got all of my A7-4s just with the camera body, so again, nice little option, but I hardly ever use that thing. This thing I do use quite a bit. This is the Sigma 28-70. to This is the contemporary lens, so there's the Sigma 24-70 to Art that's on that camera right there, and this is their regular 28-70. to Slightly cheaper, but I think for video, honestly, it compares pretty well to that lens. Highly recommended if you're looking to upgrade from the kit lens. Look at that one, it's a pretty good option. Then, of course, every photographer, videographer has to have a lens mug, so I've got one too. Next up is this little practical light. I got this from Ikea to add a bit of, you know, color, a bit of warmth to the shot. Why not? I just leave it in the shot. And then I'm gonna turn this light as well. A bunch of playing cards because I used to do card tricks back in the day and I like to, you know, have a few cards on display there. Next up is a bunch of mugs. I don't collect these, but for some reason I have a bunch of them. I've got one for The Office, for Audi, for Friends, and Star Wars back there. I just have them again to fill the shelf space a little bit. Next up we have a bunch of Rubik's Cubes because it's a hobby I got into like a year ago. So just have a few here. When I'm bored, you know, fidget with these basically. DJI Air 2S. I really, really, really love this drone. Highly recommend it. I haven't made a video on it. I might just do that, but I feel like every time a new drone comes out, the internet just goes crazy. This drone is quite a bit old now, but highly recommend it. It shoots like 5.4K. It's got a one inch sensor. It's nice and compact and it still shoots 10 bit video. It's easy to color grade. So I really have no need to upgrade there. So that's what I leave on this side here. Next up, my guitar. It's broken. It's been broken for like 10 years now. I don't know how to play it. It's just here because it looks cool. Next up, we have the remote for the DJI drone. I just tuck it in that corner. These are little Power Rangers that I used to play with when I was a kid, which my lovely mom kept for me. So I just put them here because why not next up we have the bags for the dji drones i have two of them because i used to have the mini two which got stolen but i still have the bag for it which sometimes i now use to carry like cables and stuff like that like audio cables but uh, yeah the main one is for the uh air 2s over there and then the audio cables on that one these are all the cases for my mat box that you see over there this is the polar pro base camp and it comes with the two to five ND, six to nine ND, and there's also the gold morphic, which is right here. And there's also just a normal polarizer. So those four things, I just keep them there. But uh, the mat box is just over there. At the very bottom shelf, quite empty. Case for my gimbal up there. And 
This is the aperture, the case for the aperture 120D Mark II. Of course, the light's all set up over there, but I put the case here because it hides the power outlet that's right behind it. And in this black wall, I don't wanna see the white power outlet, so that's why the case is exactly there and not in the middle. Now, moving on to this section here. This is where I spend 90% of my working day. And this is where I edit all the videos. This is where I do my full-time job. If you guys don't know, I'm a compositor. I work in the film industry and that's where I do all of that. This entire workstation is powered off of this guy right here. This is my M1 Max MacBook Pro. It's specced out all the way, like pretty much everything except for storage. This little guy, fake plant, again from Ikea. I just have it here because it hides a bunch of cables that connect the laptop to the monitor. But yeah, and it looks cool, why not? And then we come to the beast. Now this is a 32 by nine Samsung monitor. It is 5120 by 1440p. A lot of screen real estate here. Again, this is where I do most of my work. I've just really gotten used to this aspect ratio. It's essentially like having two 27 inch monitors, two 27 inch 1440p monitors right next to each other, but without the bezel in the middle. I really like this thing. I've been rocking it for two, two and a half years now. And yeah, no plans of leaving that anytime soon. Highly recommend this thing as well. And for the peripherals, I've got this Logitech keyboard. I really like it. I was a big fan of mechanical keyboards a long time ago, but ever since I've used this thing, it's nice and minimal. It takes up basically no space on the desk. I think it's great to type on and I highly recommend this. This is the Logitech MX Master 3S. I used to have the original MX Master, then the two, then the three, and now the 3S. Could not recommend these guys more. They're very ergonomic, completely customizable, and just they look really good too, and they match the keyboard perfectly. And they're wireless, not much lag at all. Honestly, couldn't recommend them more. Next up, we have the Blue Yeti X, I believe. I never use this thing. It's just here on display. I just bought it a long time ago, and I just keep it here. These guys here though, I use all the time. These are the Sony WX1000XM4s, something like that, I don't know. XM4s is what I call them. Uh, I don't didn't bother upgrading to the XM5s. These, I think, are fantastic. Lightweight, great for video editing, not much lag at all. And I have them on this Amazon stand. You know, whatever, it's nice, minimal, lightweight, and it works. Next up, we have the main rig here. This is the main tripod I use. This is the iFootage Gazelle TC6S. Yes, TC6S. And honestly, the tripod legs are amazing. I have a Manfrotto 502 head on it. Uh, I think this head's a bit overkill for what I need, but I feel like it's better to have a nicer fluid head than, you know, a crappy one. But this thing is extremely smooth. And my camera rig on top, again, a7 IV. This is the Sigma Art 24 to 70. And then we have the Polar Pro base camp matte box on top, like I mentioned earlier. Nice little top handle. It's got some rubber padding underneath, so it's nice to hold. And a Shinobi 5. I really like to rock with the Shinobi 7 on this as well, but uh, with the batteries on, the Shinobi 7 just gets a bit too heavy. So for now, the Shinobi 5 gets the job done. And it's I've got this nice little small rig wooden handle so I can go handheld, but usually this rig is on a monopod and I think I can get some uh, very nice shots with that. After this, if we move on to this little corner here, we have a charging area. So I've got two Sony chargers there, Sony NPF charger, and then AA and AAA charger here. Any batteries you see here, that means they're not charged. They still need to be charged, so I leave them here. Everything that already is charged is either in use on devices or I have it in my Nanook 950 there. I just, you know, use that for storage pretty much. Even though it's out, uh, there's a lot of space in there, so I just pretty much use that for storage. But anything out here is not charged. And again, everything's already wired, so I basically come in, you know, the first thing I do when I come in, I can just 
put everything to charge right here and that's when I proceed into the studio. Finally, after about seven years of doing video professionally, I feel like I finally have a space that I'm very, very happy with. I feel very productive when I'm working here and it serves multiple purposes, one of which is recording these YouTube videos and I can just work at my desk over there, spend many hours there. There are still a few things I wanna upgrade here and there, but 95% of it, I feel like is pretty nailed down and I'm really, really happy with this spot. Now with that out of the way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate appreciate all of you. Before you leave, please do leave this video a like. That helps out a lot. And subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys next time.